Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Gabriela, how are you? Good evening, Mr. Thanks. Thank you so much for answering. Yes, everything is perfect now. I hear you very well. Yes, yes. Um, thank you so much for being here, everybody. It's my pleasure. And thank you so much, everybody, for being here. We are going to keep working on this module, which is the main focus of this one is learning English, right? So we're going to try to do it. Yes. Um, just give me a minute while I get the information for you. Okay, so we can start working on today's class. We're going to have uh, 15, the number 15. Today's class is class number 15. So, uh, yeah, we just have this and another class. And then we'll finish with this one. Okay. Thank you. Don't forget to practice your English at home as much as you can. Yes. Practice. You. Practice your English every day because that will help you a lot. Yes. Yes. That will help you a lot. Practice and practice. Yes. It doesn't matter if you annoy somebody else at home, but the purpose is you practice your English, right? Thank you so much. So uh, let me see. We're going to have section number five. I'm going to a soccer match. Can I take a message? That is the title of this uh, today's class. Mm -hmm. And as you may know, it's class number 15. So thank you oh. so much, everybody, for being here. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh-huh. I... Can I take a message? Do you understand what is a message? A message? Yes, you got you got the idea, right, Maria Delmi? You got the idea of a message? Yes? No. <laughs> These are for a muscle? Exactly. Exactly, right? A message that sometimes we get messages uh, like from different research, let's say, devices. Every day, in every, in every shop. <laughs> yes. Sometimes we don't want to know about it, but we get them, right? Yeah. We'll get them, okay? Thank you. We're going to practice uh, this one first, okay? Free time activities and events. Yes. Jose. I'm sorry, Luis, Miguel, thank you, Luis. Tell me, do you understand this title? Free time activities and events. Do you understand? Luis? Sorry, hi, teacher. Oh, thank you. Do you uh, understand the title free time activities and events? Yes, of course. Okay, very uh, good. I I going to read. Oh please, thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Complete the charts with words and phrases from the list. Then add one more example to each category. Uh, and in the option are a rock concert, a soccer game, a birthday party, a barbecue. A film festival, a class reunion, reunion, a wedding. What is wedding? Wedding. It's a wedding. A wedding. Um, boda. It's an, it's an Thank boda. you, uh, Esmeralda. Very good. A musical, a car race, a hip hop dance performance, a video game tournament, a baseball game. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. So as you may know, here we have some free activities or also events, right? We have some categories like sports and games, friends and family, art and performances. So we're going to put this information in here in this chart. Um, so let's begin. Yeah. What about sports and games? Let's begin with rock and concerts. Where is that thing?
art and performance. Okay, so a uh, rock concert. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, a rock concert goes with art and performances. What about a soccer game? What did that goes? Sports games. Exactly, Sports right? Games. Soccer game. Today we got a, a lot of soccer games with the champions. Thank you so much. What about a birthday party? Friends and family. Oh, yes. A birthday party. Let's throw a party. Quinceañera, right? Thank you. What about a barbecue? Um, okay, a barbecue, yes. It's a barbie. Barbecue. Yes. Yeah. Not the movie, right? But just a barbecue. Thank you. What about a film festival? Our performance. That is correct. Very good. Festival. Yes. La pupusa loca, right? What about a class reunion what is that friends and family yeah right a class reunion reunion okay oh i did a mistake thank you what about a wedding friends and family oh look at that one right a piñata thank you a musical what is that Exactly. A musical. It's not a high school musical, right? It's something else. <laughs> yeah, very good. What about a car race? The spring games. Exactly, right? Schumacher, what about car race? And what about a hip hop dance performance? Oh. Art and performance. Art and performances. Exactly, right? This is like very easy. Uh -huh, dance. Performance. Oopsie, thank you. What about a video game tournament? It's foreign oh, game. Foreign foreign game. game. Okay, thank you. Let me write it a little bit like here. A video game. And baseball game too. Okay. Tournament. Thank you. Oh, it's quite long, this name. And what about, oh, well, a baseball game goes here. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Baseball game. Okay. So here we have this vocabulary that goes related to free time activities or events. Yes, yeah, sometimes people invite us, right? Nos invitan to this event so we can so we can go there and have fun a little bit. And we are going to work with Exercise B, what it says, are you going to do anything of these activities? What are you going to do then? Okay. So, for example, I will ask you, what are you going to do on the weekend? Yes, you need to select one of these ones and you need to give me an answer. Yes? Do you understand? It's okay, right? So, I will say to you, Excuse me, what are you going to do on the weekend? And you will select one of these options. Yeah, that could be a free mm -hmm. time activity or an event. And you will let me know using the future. Yes. Let's begin with uh, Sandra Lisette Elizondo. Thank you, Sandra. Question for you. What are you going to do on the weekend? Um... A birthday party. Oh, you need to use the structure with future, with going to. I am going to. Exactly. I'm going to. To do. Uh huh. A birthday. No, are I'm going to go a birthday party. Oh, very good. I am going to go to a birthday party. Very good. Thank you. Or you can say, I'm going to a birthday party. Yes. Okay. 
Thank you so much. Very good. Ursula, same question to you, but you need to change the activity or event. Okay, Ursula, what are you doing, Um, let's say, on Saturday? What are you doing on Saturday? Uh, so I'm going to go to a rock concert. Oh, very good. You can say also, I'm going to a rock concert. Okay. We are not going to use going anymore. This one go is ban. Okay. <laughs> we are not going to use that verb anymore. We, we have it. We had it twice, so it, we're not going to use that one anymore, okay? So the challenge is to use another verb to communicate what are you going to do. Let's begin with you, Luis. What are you going to do on Saturday? Or what are you doing on Saturday? Uh, I'm going to work in the morning. Very good. Very good. And yeah. the in the... In the afternoon, may I stay at home? Oh, I am staying. Yes. Staying in the, at, at home. home. At home. Very good. Yes, very good. Yeah, perfect. Wonderful. That is the way, right? And let me see. Isaac, Angel Isaac, what are you doing? What are you doing? on Sunday. What are you doing on Sunday? Um, probably on Sunday, I, I'm gonna to play soccer with my friends. Okay, when you use gonna, um, you don't need to uh, use I'm gonna, to... Of course, I'm gonna play soccer with my friends and uh, at night, um sometimes I gonna play video games with them. Okay, very good. So you, you mentioned twice plays, right? <laughs> play. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. Very good. Another verb that is one is going to be play. Play. These verbs, okay, and I will tell you this, these verbs are easy to learn. Go and play. Okay, I know that you love these verbs, right? And you know the meaning. But try to use other verbs. Yes, the challenge is to use other verbs so you can uh, face different uh, scenarios, right? Using other verbs, right? Maria, thank you. What are you doing? What are you doing on Sunday, Maria del Mi Hernandez? Um, I'm going to my my son's uh, kickboxing. Oh, well, uh, train. Oh, very train. good. And afterwards, uh, we're going to my house parents uh, to take a barbecue, perhaps. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty um, good. Yes. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay, so let me show you. Okay. Well, thank you. Let me show you the next content that we have for today. Thank you. Here we go. We're going to have this beautiful conversation. I hope you can see it. If you don't see it, let me know so I can move it. Let me fix that one. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Give me a minute, please. I just need to move this presentation here so I don't, I don't, I don't get in trouble. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something so maybe you can see it better. Yes, I hope you can see it better. Um, here we go. Okay. Thank you. We have Caitlin and Jake. Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela Noemi Orellana. Tell me, please. Hello. What do you see here in this picture? Uh, the man. Well, yes. What is he doing? Um, mm -hmm. 
conversation on the iPhone. No, okay. Thank you, it's Maria called. Delmi. Say say the, the verb, please. Thank you. He's saying what time it is. Yeah. Maybe, right? Maybe. Very good. He's calling someone. He's, he's, he's calling someone. someone. Very good. So, Gabriela, um, he's, he's calling someone, right, hey, Gabriela? Saying what time it is. Yes. He's Gabriela? Serious? Gabriela, it, oh. what is he? What is he wearing, Gabriela? ¿Cómo se le llama esta cosa? Uh, jacket. Sweet. Mm. No. Sweet. No. Mm. Eh, very going... good. Yes. Suit. 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 Sí, al traje yeah. se le llama suit, right? Suit. El traje. Ta tie. Tie. Suit. Very good. Tie. Here, this mm -hmm. is a tie. Very good. Um, very good. And what is this object here, Gabriela? Watch. A watch. Very good. And where is this person? Is this person in a school? Is this person in a house? No. In the bus. Yes, very good. In the bus, right? Is in the bus mm -hmm. or on mm -hmm. the bus? Um, um, on the bus. Very good. So this person is on the bus. Very good. Thank you so much. So we're going to have this conversation. I want you to listen the conversation and read. Okay? Please, let's listen and read. Page 102. Exercise 7. Conversation. Can I take a message? Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can take the pictures. Um, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. Page 102. Exercise 7. Conversation. Can I take a message? Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can take the pictures. Um, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, please, uh, Maria del Mi Hernandez, tell us, what is this conversation about? Is mm, He's talking about uh, his, he's so late to take, to take, to take a class, take a class. And he's, and he's asked for, for help, for help you. Why he's late? He, Why he is, is he late? Stuck, he is the stuck bus, in the traffic. The bus yes. is, in the, is in the traffic. And he's, he's, he's in the hurry. Yeah. And what is the favor this person is asking for? 
uh, to take pictures, picture for um, yeah, whiteboard. Thank you. Is is Caitlin good at taking pictures? No. Not really, yeah. right? Not really, but she, uh, he, he's one only, only see the wall. Yeah, last time he took, last time he took some pictures, right? That's why he got yeah. a bunch of pictures of a wall. <laughs> oh, that was kind of good. Okay, so save, save the picture, save the picture, please. Tomenle captura ya la picture, y si la puede enviar al group on WhatsApp, that will be good. Yes. Um, so we can have it, yes. Uh huh. Um, voy a abrir los breakout rooms so you can practice with your partners a little bit of this conversation. And remember, this is about practicing, right? Si usted comete algún error with pronunciation, don't worry, just keep practicing y escuche a your partners the way they pronounce it so you can improve that one, okay? Yes, okay, let's begin. Give me a minute. Uh, give me a minute. If you have a problem with your mic, let me know. Okay, let me check. Okay. So I'm gonna give you some times. You practice and twice. So you change roles, cambia roles, right? Yes, perfect. Yeah. En la sala principal voy a tener a Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado, Cindy Carolina Cruz, and Úrsula. Ustedes tres, please, stay here in the main room. Don't join. The rest of you, please, join. One more time, en la sala principal, I will have Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado, Cindy Carolina Cruz de López, and Úrsula Cornejo. The rest of you, do me a favor, join your classmates so you can practice the conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Estela, please. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, uh, Cindy, uh, Ursula, and Edgardo, this is a space for you to practice. Okay. You have, you have the conversation in the chat. Miguel sent the conversation over there so you can have it and you can practice. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much. Who wants to start? Hello. Ursula, Andrea, Edgardo. Hello, yes, I'm here. Can okay. you see? Yes. Okay, oh, okay, Ursula. So if you want, we start. Yes. Okay. Hi, Katie. Um, Let me see the picture. Yes. Yeah. I am Caitlin. Okay, I'm Jake. Okay. Hello. Hi. Caitlin, AJ, are you be? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. The body is moving. Oh no. Hi Kathleen. Is Jake. Are you but are you busy? No, I am having coffee by Brittany. Where are you?
Excuse me, is everything good here? Hi, teacher. Okay, have, have you practiced? Don't hear anybody. Okay, Estela, hello. Hi, teacher. Okay, can you practice with Maria Delmi, please? Thank you. You have you have the picture uh, in the chat on WhatsApp, so you can check that. Mm, hello. I thank you. Hi, can you hear me? Oh, I hear you. Okay, hello. Hi, Caitlin. It is Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm I, I'm going to make to make it tonight. Why not? What what's the matter? My bus is is stuck in traffic. Nobody's moving. Oh no. Where are you what are you going to do? I I don't know. Could you tell me, Mr. Eden, that I'm going to miss to miss class? No problem. I he, I give him the message. Okay. And call you ask Brittany to take a picture to take a picture of the whiteboard for me. <clears throat> sure, but I can take the picture. Picture. Mm, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the bar, of the bar, all I could see was the wall. Okay. Change roles, please. Change okay. roles. Hello. Hi, Kathleen. It's Jake. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's a problem. I don't think I'm going to make make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is sucked in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh no, what, what are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Miss Ata that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give I'll give him the massage. Massage. Oh, oh. and could you ask Brittany to take a picture of the windward to for me? Sure. We can take the pictures. Mm, thank you. But the last time you took a picture of the world, all I could see was the white wall. Thank you so much. Uh, Alejandra Maria Mejia. Alejandra Maria Mejia. Hello, hello. Hi, hi. Can you participate, Alejandra? Yes or no? Tell me. Tell me, please. No? Okay. Thank you so much for your participation. Uh, Estela, Lara, we need a little bit more of practice. Okay, you have mistakes on pronunciation. And you improve esta pronunciation with practicing, right? So you listen and repeat. Listen mm -hmm. and repeat and practice. Hello. Hi, Caitlin. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brigney. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. Yeah, like that. So you need to practice a little bit more on that one. 
Thank you so much, Maria Delmi. Everything was perfect. Great job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your participation in this one. Very good. Let me play again um, the audio for this conversation. One more time, listen, pronunciation, and read. Page 102, exercise seven, conversation. Can I take a message? Part A, listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can take the pictures. Um, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. Thank you so much. Give me a minute. Uh, I need to take the attendance. So when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Okay. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Una pregunta. La, la, la... Al último párrafo no lo entendí. Se me complicó. Ok, ok. Yes, we will practice that. Uh, ok, so just give me a minute. I will take the attendance and then I will help you. Ok. Perfect, wonderful. Ok, Wednesday, here we go. Alejandra Elizabeth Duran Ramos. I'm here. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Welcome. María Alejandra Mejía Avelar. Present. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. No, she isn't. Angel Isaac Cibrián Bonilla. Teacher. Oh, Andrea. Yeah, teacher. Present teacher. I'm thank, here. You, thank you, Andrea. It's nice to have you. Angel, also welcome. Nice to have you. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. No, thank you so much, Blanca. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Eh, Blanca Estela Lara López. Blanca Estela Lara López. No, she isn't. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado Maldonado. Yes. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Yeah. Teacher Elba. Blanca Blanca está levantando mano. Oh, okay. Let me check that really quick. Oh, yes, Blanca Estela. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Blanca Estela. Okay, thank you. Um, um, thank you. Uh, Elba Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano. I'm here. Good evening. Thank you. Nice to have you. Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. I'm here. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. Jose Antonio Montes Fuentes. Jose Antonio Montes Fuentes. Okay, now he isn't. What about Catherine Joana Casadilla Alas? Present teacher. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Welcome. Thank you. Kenia Roxana Ayala de Velázquez. Kenia Roxana Ayala de Velázquez. No, she isn't. María Delmi Hernández de Montoya. I'm here. Thank you so much. Luis Miguel Alas Mejía. Ah, oh, Jesus. Luis Miguel Mejía Alas. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry for, for that. Sandra Elizondo. Sandra Lizette Elizondo Marino, thank you. Present. Thank you. Nice to have you. Cindy Carolina Cruz de López. Here. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. Ursula Yamilet Cornejo Martinez. Hello, Ursula. Thank you, Ursula. It's nice to have you. Let me check the chat here on Zoom really quick. 
Alejandra María Mejía. Ok, let me check. Alejandra María Mejía. Well. Ok, very good. Eh, Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Ok. So, thank you so much. Ok, let's get back to this uh, presentation we were working on, uh, which is the following. This one, uh, Luis, you were saying like the last part, right? Yeah. When you mean the last part is this one at the end. La última vez que tomó una foto eh, uh -huh. del todo lo que pudo ver por la pared. Solo exactly. La pared. Yeah, because here, like, uh, could you ask Brittany to take pictures, right? Pictures of the class, yes, of the whiteboard. So the teacher writes in the whiteboard the information, and people sometimes take pictures, right? Yes. So uh, uh, this person is asking, oh. Could you ask Brittany? And Caitlin mm -hmm. says, sure, but he said, I can take pictures. Yeah. And then he said, uh, mm -hmm. thanks, mm -hmm. but the last time you took a picture of the book, <laughs> all I could <laughs> see was the wall. So everything was just a wall. It wasn't the board. It wasn't the board, right? So Luis, now. You getting that? I got you. Thank yeah. you so much. That's wonderful. Okay. Also, don't forget to make questions. Every time you got a question about the content, uh, let me know. Yeah. So we can help each other here. This is like the song from High School Musical, right? Together. Together. Yeah. So we can answer all this one together here. Yes. Uh, Gabriela Noemi, you are going to be Caitlin. Your partner is going to be Isaac. Isaac, you are Jake. Mm -hmm. Ready, let's begin. Okay. Hello. Hi, Kaylin. Is Jake, are you busy? No, I haven't coffee with Brainy. Where are you? Class is going to tell some, start some. That's the problem. I don't think I'm gonna make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter, matter? My boss is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh no! What are you going to do? Mm, I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Idom that I'm gonna miss class? No problem. I give give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take picture of the right board for me? Sure, but I can take the picture. Mm, thanks, but the last time you take a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. Very good, thank you so much. Sandra, Elizondo. You are going to be Caitlin. Your partner, okay. yes, is going to be Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. <clears throat> you are okay. Jake. Yes. Blanca okay. Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Ready? Let's begin. Yes. Hello. Hi, Caitlin. It is Jake. It's Jake. Are you busy? Business? No, I'm having coffee with Brainy. What are you? Class is going to start soon? That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to to make a I um tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is drunk in the traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh no, what are you doing? What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, I could you ask Brittany to take a picture of the winter board for me? Sure, but I can't take the pictures. 
Ah, thanks. Uh, but the last time you you took a picture of the bird out, I could see was the wall. Correct. The wall. Very good. The wall. Also here, Blanca, tenemos whiteboard. 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 Yes, whiteboard. Very good. Thank you so much. Uh, Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano, you are Jake. Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano, yes. you are Jake. And let me see. Edgardo de Jesus Maldonado, you are Caitlin. Ready? Let's begin. Hello. Hi, Caitlin. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? That's the point to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What is the matter? My boss is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Uh, oh no, oh, what are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that, uh, that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can't take the picture. Mm, thanks, but the last time you took a picture of the bird, all I could see was the wall. Thank you so much for your participation. That was very good. Let's listen one more time and read. Page 102. Exercise 7. Conversation. Can I take a message? Part A. Listen and practice. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. It's Jake. Are you busy? No, I'm having coffee with Brittany. Where are you? Class is going to start soon. That's the problem. I don't think I'm going to make it tonight. Why not? What's the matter? My bus is stuck in traffic. Nobody is moving. Oh, no. What are you going to do? I don't know. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm going to miss class? No problem. I'll give him the message. Oh, and could you ask Brittany to take pictures of the whiteboard for me? Sure, but I can take the pictures. Um, thanks. But the last time you took a picture of the board, all I could see was the wall. Thank you. Page one. Now let's listen to part B. Listen to three other phone calls. Write the caller's names. So what are you going to do here, Luis? Write the caller's names. Yes? Colors. La person, right? La person. Names. So here you need to write names. I don't know, example, Juan, Antonio, right? Those names, right? The people that are calling. Yes? Gabriela, do you understand? ¿Qué va a ser aquí? Write the caller's names. De describir de este, um, no, llamadas de nombres o algo así. Ajá, no. perfect. Good. Entonces va a poner los nombres de quién? Llama. De la... Exacto. De la... Perfect. Good. Entonces, the caller's name, right? Perfect. Good. So, let's listen. Page 102, exercise 7, part B. Listen to three other phone calls. Write the caller's names. One. Hello. Hi, Caitlin. It's Vanessa. Are you in class yet? No, not yet. Is everything okay? I think I have the flu. I can't go to class today. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to rest. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm sick? Of course. I'm sure he'll understand. Feel better, Vanessa? Two. Hello? <coughs> Caitlin, it's Scott. Oh, no. Are you sick, too? Yeah, I feel terrible. I'm not going to class. Well, you're not the only one. Hey, Rob isn't answering his phone. 
Would you ask him to call me after class? He has my book. Of course. Feel better, Scott. Three. Hello? Hey, Caitlin. Hi, Danny. Don't tell me that you're sick, too. No, I feel fine. Great. So what's going on? I'm having car trouble, so I'm running late to class. Can you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm gonna be about 20 minutes late? Oh, good. I'm not gonna be the only one in class. Sure, I'll tell him. <laughs> Page 102. It's Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to three other phone calls. Write the callers' names. One. Hello? Hi, Caitlin. It's Vanessa. Are you in class yet? No, not yet. Is everything okay? I think I have the flu. I can't go to class today. Oh, I'm sorry. You need to rest. Could you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm sick? Of course. I'm sure he'll understand. Feel better, Vanessa? Two. Hello? <coughs> Caitlin, it's Scott. Oh, no. Are you sick, too? Yeah, I feel terrible. I'm not going to class. Well, you're not the only one. Hey, Rob isn't answering his phone. Would you ask him to call me after class? He has my book. Of course. Feel better, Scott. Three. Hello? Hey, Caitlin. Hi, Danny. Don't tell me that you're sick, too. No, I feel fine. Great. So what's going on? I'm having car trouble, so I'm running late to class. Can you tell Mr. Eaton that I'm gonna be about 20 minutes late? Oh, good. I'm not gonna be the only one in class. Sure, <laughs> I'll tell him. Okay, thank you so much. Let's begin with you, Gabriela. Tell me. Gabriela Noemi, tell me the names of these uh, callers, please. Mm. Del audio no entendí mucho. Okay. <laughs> no. Vanessa. Vanessa, yes. Vanessa, Scott, and Danny. Okay, very good. Danny. Very good. Thank you so much. Vanessa, Scott, and, and Danny. Very good. Ahora, who were sick? Who were sick? Vanessa, Vanessa and, and Scott. Scott. Exactly right. I think with this COVID, probably they got COVID. And what Before happened with her. Danny? What is what is the problem that he's having? A cold? Uh, Oh, yeah, he's late. Why? He's late. That is true. He's but but why? Late. Why he's late? Why is he late? Because the traffic is far. Right? Mm. No, I'm he's sorry. Stuck. No, yeah. No, I'm it's, sorry. It's a car travel. It's a car travel. So that means he's yeah. having some problems with his car. Yeah. Maybe the engine has a, a little uh, issue, right? So that's why um, the, his car doesn't work. Okay. So that's why he's like okay. uh, late because of that. Okay. Page yeah. one. Thank you so much. We're going to have the following video related to the explanation of the grammar part. Let's listen, watch, and take note. Let's continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103, exercise eight, grammar focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? 
Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follow. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please, could you or would you. Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask plus person plus two plus the request. Again, we use please, could you or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement I want you to work with. Our next class is on Friday. Please write three possible statement messages as shown on the chart. And this is the request. Meet me this afternoon. Again, please write three possible request messages on our discussion box. Thank you so much. What do we have here is formal and informal messages we tell and ask. Okay? Entonces, si usted se fija, aquí tenemos informal y aquí tenemos formal. ¿Para qué nos sirve esto? Bueno, pues para dejar mensajes. ¿Ya? Yeah. Tenemos dos options, una que son statements y otra que son requests. Ahora, cuando es un statement, vamos a utilizar el verbo tell. Tell, tell. Please tell. Could you tell? Would you tell? Yes? Right? Yeah. Luego, cuando es un request, vamos a utilizar el verbo ask. Yes? Please ask her. Okay. Could you ask her? Would you ask her? Entonces, well, at the end it's quite the same. However, este will ask is a little bit formal. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Perdón. Sorry. Yes. Uh, perdón. Vamos desde el primero que es el informal y luego el, estos últimos dos de acá. Would you or could you? Pues son los más formales, right? El primero es un poquito informal y los otros dos son formal. Yes. Ahora, one more time. Cuando es un statement, vamos a utilizar tell. Tell, tell. Cuando es un request, vamos a utilizar ask, ask, ask. And these are like, yes, to take a picture of the form. Passage with request is definitive form of the verb. Please ask her to meet at noon. If the message is negative, go you asking not to be. Okay, vamos a practicar Page 100. un poquito. As you may see here, tenemos esto. Read the message, ask someone to pass then. Use the words in parentheses. Okay, entonces tengo el message. ¿Para quién? Para Ana. ¿Cuál es el message? Where for me after class. Y vamos a utilizar la palabra would. Entonces, ¿cómo creen que empiezo la sentence number one? Primero voy a ocupar la palabra que está aquí en paréntesis, right? Y empiezo diciendo would. would. Very good. What is next? Would you tell? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, eh, eh, ¿Sería un request o sería este um, una statement? Statement. Okay. Mire lo que dice acá. Wait for me after class. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Un request o, o un statement? Okay. 
Request. Luego tengo la number three. The concert on Saturday has been canceled. ¿Cuál es la number three? ¿Es un request o es un statement? Request. Will you ask? Me? Ok. Very good. Acuérdense, cuando es un statement, cuando es un statement, vamos a utilizar tell. Cuando es un request, vamos a utilizar ask. Entonces, en la number two, ¿cuál sería? Would you tell or ask? Would you tell? tell. No, I'm sorry. Would you ask? Ask. Would you ask? Okay. Porque mire, el contexto es un request. Espérame after class. Ahora, eso es un request. Solicita. Hay right? un favor, un favor. Yes. Right. Uh -huh. Entonces, es un request. So, por eso vamos a utilizar ask. Would you ask? What is next? Would Who's the... ask? Ana. Ana, very good. Ana. Wait, wait for me exactly. after after class after class yes very good primero tiene que identificar o oh, es un request o un statement and after that you use would you ask Anna to wait for me after class very good what about number three will you tell okay because, would... because the concert is cancelled Alex mm -hmm. That, that the, the concert, concert on the Saturday concert. has been cancelled. On Saturday? Has been cancelled. Very good. Ahí ya me faltó el question mark. I'm sorry. Give me a minute so I can fix that one. Here, I forgot the question mark. Okay, let me see if I can have it. Yes. Would you tell Ale? Le puse a... eh, Jesus. Well, it's quite the same. Can you tell Ale that the concert on Saturday has been canceled? Very good. And what about the last one? It is a request or it is a statement? Request. It's a request. It's a statement. A request. Luis, request. that is right. That is correct, Luis. Because yes. it's called. Mm -hmm. Yes, don't forget to return the book to the yeah. library. So it's a statement, right? Es como que vaya a la library y ahí aparece la statement, right? So you can see, oh, don't forget to return the book to the library. It's a statement, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Very good. So what is the what is the sentence? Will you tell? Okay, would Oh, good, thank you Would you tell Sarah Would you tell Would you tell Sarah 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 To don't forget Don't forget To return Don't forget to return the book to the library Okay, vamos a desbaratar el don no Don Omar, right? sino somebody else, right? Eso que está aquí. Ya no vamos a utilizar el auxiliar. El auxiliary. Ya no lo vamos a utilizar. Vamos a poner solo la palabra. Not. Exactly. Not. not Luego, forget. infinity. Not to forget. Not to forget. Not to forget. To return. To return. To return. To the book. To the library. To the library. To the library, very good. Okay, yes, so let me add the question mark at the end, very good. Yes, very good. Could you tell Sara not to forget, not to forget to return the book to the library? Very good, yes. It's a little so this, bit complicated. It's a little bit, but at the end it's somehow easy. Lo que tiene que trabajar es identificar, oh, es un request, Yes. O es right. a statement. Same. Cuando es un request, vamos a utilizar ask. Cuando ask. es un statement, vamos a utilizar tell. tell. Okay. So that is, siempre vamos a utilizar las palabras polite 
Would you? Could you? Uh, yes. Right. Yes. Uh, very good. Thank you so much for this one. And uh, I think it's time to go. I hope that tomorrow we can have the chance to practice a little bit more. But don't forget, my recommendation, again, is practice at home a little bit every single day so that can help you. Yes? Don't worry about the mistake. Just keep practicing so you can improve every single day. Okay? So thank you so much, people. Good night. And we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye, Bye -bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Thank you for everything. Bye-bye.